Step two. We now care about this stuff here because we need to subtract it out. We're only going to account for the work that's done during the month of June in the FIFO method. In the weighted average method, we said, you know what, any work that was in process, we're going to account for that also. The cost per units might be a little different, but it's okay. Right now, we have to subtract out this stuff that was done in a previous period. That's the big difference. You have to subtract out the equivalent units, and you have to subtract and subtract out the costs associated with those equivalent units when you do the math. It's the main difference. So we know that these units were done to these percentages, which allowed us to calculate the equivalent units for materials, labor, and overhead. Everything else here down to here is the same. Down here, though, we have the total equivalent units we calculated for the weighted average method. We then subtract out the equivalent unit, the work that was done in a previous period. That's what's being subtracted out over here. Leaving us for materials, labor, and overhead, the work that was truly done this period. And that's what FIFO does. It's just the work that's done this period and the equivalent units of the work that was done this period. Okay? The primary difference between the two. That's step two.